flip them over. It does smell good. Yeah, I mean, it really, I can't believe how red the, the colors really come out of them. Sam and Joyce, the old couple, and today we'll be setting our blue crab traps on the uh, west coast of Florida in the Big Bend area. And we'll leave them maybe set there a couple of days because, of course, we got bad weather coming so we can get out and get them. Wouldn't be normal if we didn't have that. No, nah, that's right. So we'll get back here. We were baiting them up and setting them. Well, we're baiting the traps up with shad and shad heads and other pieces of shad, shad bellies. We'll be using some chicken left over from when we were hand lining. This will put the first one right here. All right, we'll try it here. It's been about a year since we set any over this way. I don't see any other traps out there, so that's not a good sign. But we're gonna set it anyway. All right, we'll try it here. Good as any place. Yeah. All right, put this one here, and then we'll try the other three at a, another location. Another gorgeous day. Yeah, it's oh, a nice it's day. It's beautiful yep. out. But I don't, you only get one day, then you right. get like, five days of bad weather what i mean by bad weather is it blows 25 mile 30 mile an hour but that's what you get you get one nice day then you get the rest is bad weather well we got eight feet of water here joyce try, give it a try here well we got two more let's put, put another one right here joyce let's put the last one right here We gonna catch anything? I hope so. Well, we got our trap set, and we'll probably just leave them set overnight and see if there's any crabs around here. Like I said, we haven't been crab. We've been over here fishing, but we haven't been crabbing here in about a year, and we didn't see any other crab buoys around, so that's not a good sign. So we'll check them in the morning, see if there's any crabs in the area. Trap's been setting for uh, two days. We let them go two days instead of one like they set before, giving them a good chance of catching some crabs. So we'll get back to you when we're pulling them. Well, we're coming up on our first trap, and what's uh, weird, all our traps were moved, Not, except this one. The first one was, we, we ran along our traps and they all were moved. One of them was put right in the channel. So we had a really high tide yesterday. I don't know if it was the current. We got weights on the trap. They never moved before, or somebody messed with them. That's happened before over here. So we'll see what we got in this first one. What we got? Nothing. Nothing. The fish. One little tiny one. I wonder. I thought I saw a crab in yeah. there. No, it's a leaf. Oh yeah, there he is. He's little. Little. little t one little crab. One little and the bait's crab. ate up though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like. I don't know. That's kind of real suspicious. Right. That guy couldn't eat all that bait. No. All right. We'll check the other ones. Well, we're coming up on our second trap. This is the one that's in the channel now, and we didn't set it in the channel. Well, we're coming up to our 
third trap. This is about where I set this one. It's up to you to catch them, Joyce. Uh, You're pulling the trap. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't feel any guys in there. I don't think there is either. No. Oh, little one. That's Another little one. Yeah. Each trap has one little one in it. a chicken leg. We got. Look how little they are. I mean, they're so tiny. Yeah, that's what happens. When that's when the water's cold, too. Yeah, the water's still cold. Now, right, here's our fourth one. This one's in the channel, too. Yeah, the current's pretty hard. At least you could catch a couple for dinner. Yeah, it'd be nice. And the rope's all, like, tangled up when you pull it. So I feel like it's caught. I may roll the traps when I roll it over down there. Yeah, it feels it feels like it's you're stuck on the bottom. Yeah. Hey. Oh, we're just in the wrong spot. Two crabs. Two nice crabs. Three crabs. Yeah. We're in the channel. Yeah. Well, they're not two nice crabs. They're in typical cold weather crabs. They're yellow. That one's good on top. They ate up the bait, the bait. There's our fifth trap. So far we got two keeper crabs. <laughs> They're not skunked. <laughs> and the trap was in the channel. They were not skunked, right? Yep. One crab for you, one for me. That's right, that's okay, we won't starve. <laughs> starve, <laughs> you might. <laughs> yeah. The rope's all weird. Look at that. It's all twisted up. Yeah. Something went on. I don't know. Maybe it's this eclipse. We got the eclipse now. Maybe that made a lot Maybe of current. Something, something's weird. Well, they're not good crabs, Joyce. Oh, uh, one is. One, yeah, one of them's good. No, it could have been something weird with the moon. The tide was way up there. Yeah. We got one in there. It's worth keeping. Oh, yeah. It might be a muscle. It'll starve. We can't start wearing worry about starve. I don't think we'll starve. <laughs> you bought steaks for the night, so we're yeah. not going to starve. They're nice and yellow. Mm -hmm. Well, at least they're uh, nice and yellow. The crabs are just about five inches. So there's no prize crab. And yeah, you're going back. Yeah, hey, you're your lucky day too. We got two more traps. One there and there's one not too far ahead of it. The water's cold. We've been using that for an excuse. Maybe it's true. The water's cold. Yeah, it's not. And again, there's no commercial traps here. And we saw the commercial guys hauling their traps uh, down the road. They had boatloads of traps. I guess they're taking them somewhere else. Yeah, we caught crabs here the same time of year, every year, but this year. Catch one big one, Joyce. Yeah. I'll try. You, you got the line. It's all tangled up, the line. That's because the. Uh, must have had a lot of current it's last night. In right now. You can feel the current. It's a uh, couple of the traps. That's how they got in the channel, I guess. They got tumbled. They were tumbling, twisted the line up. We got the weights on them. Oh, there's a big one. Okay. Bigger. Anyway. There's two crabs. Oh, you got three crabs again. Yeah, three. So we got two keepers in there. Yeah, we keep a log. And we've caught crabs this time of year. But when I didn't see any other traps anywhere, that was a bit... No, you still got one in there. There is? I don't yeah. see him. Oh, 
He's on the in the trap, Joyce. There he oh, is. Oh, there he is. That really camouflage it out. Well, he got all them leaves oh, in there. Look, look what happened. Uh, he was a part. <laughs> well, we had some bad luck. The rebar is coming off. <laughs> That's all right. Is it coming off all the way? Um, what, just this one. Oh, uh, one hog ring. Holding it. Okay, got to fix that. A lot of repair work. Yeah. That's all right. At least we got our traps. It was right. nobody, nobody messed with the traps. It moved that, because of the current. Mother Nature messed with them. Yeah. Never happened to us before. No. Never had ropes like this. Like We're coming up on our last trap. No, look at that, twist it up. These traps are just that rolling. Is, look at that. Two, it's <laughs> knotted up. I don't know. What was weird, yesterday was the eclipse. So I don't know if this was an eclipse tide. Oh, wait, look at that. That's so cool. Never happened. Like yeah, no. I said, we said in the, in the St. John's River right in a strong current. It's not that bad here. No. That's just... We've been setting them here like for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that kind so, of... So, yeah, look at the line. All, we need a swivel. Uh, huh? <laughs> yeah, we, we got to have a swivel. <laughs> look at it. It's perfect. It went it a little is. perfect here. Oh, that's weird. It's very weird. Uh, one crabby and one little one. We got one keeper and one little one. They're all keepers in Florida, but nobody wants to keep these little no, tiny ones. They have one so tiny. You need to kill these bye-bye. Good for bait. Yeah. Well, we're heading in now. I think we got five keeper crabs out of seven traps. And we threw all the little ones away. And the last two we caught, we threw them away. One of them was like a, like a paper shell thing. Yeah, it wasn't a hard shell crab. So we got a trap. We put it at our seawall at our trailer. We're going to check that when we get in, see if we got anything, and see if we got enough to eat. We got enough to eat. <laughs> George, Troy's afraid she's gonna starve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have enough crabs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to you when we're back at the trailer and uh, maybe cooking them. We'll see what we're gonna do. Well, we're back at our trailer, so we're gonna check that one trap we set in our seawall at the trailer. See if we got any crabs here. We'll see. Oh, yes. oh, yeah, there's yes. one right on top. Okay, really? what we got? Three crabs. Yes. That was nice. A, that was a chicken leg. Yeah. So we did better, I guess, here yeah. than we did out there yeah. on the boat. Yeah. They're not giant ones, but they're all three keepers. Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's great. Bugs are bad. The bugs are still biting joys. Come on, all the stuff wore off from out in the boat. Yeah, it's why the green alcohol kind of works. Work for a while. You didn't okay, bring it well, with you, though. No, you're it. supposed to bring it with you. Yeah, I know. So you can put it on again. We had a lot of suggestions, so we keep trying different things for the no seams. Try the easiest one first. <laughs> yeah. I had it at home. <laughs> yeah, had green alcohol. That's the easy one. So well, we got five in here. Three there, so we got eight crabs. That's not much, is it? Maybe we can blame the eclipse on not catching many crabs. Well, we end up with eight crabs, counting the ones we caught off the seawall. And we had a few we let go because they were small and some of them were uh, soft, real soft. So we uh, let those go. You want to keep the crabs that are hard. And I found out some one reason why that tide must have ran so hard and uh, have moved all our traps. It's because of the eclipse. They said when you have the eclipse, the current or the tides is a lot stronger, what they call a spring tide. So that probably is what did it because it's never done it to us before. And we set crab traps lots of times in that area. And we set them in the St. John's River. We got a lot of current and they don't move. But anyway, that's probably what happened. 
and maybe it affect the crabbing, but I think the crabbing's just not good because there was no commercial traps out there when we were there. So Joyce decided to cook the crabs that we caught in a, a wok, right? Yeah, we're going to try it. Right, well, <laughs> we different. haven't cooked crabs in a wok, have we? No. 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 So we're going to cook those we're crabs. We're going to try it. And that'll, be, that'll go with our regular dinner we're going to have. I think she got some steaks she's going to cook, but this will be... So we'll have... Uh, Surf and turf, I guess. Right. Crabs, crabs, crabs turf, count. Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, first you're gonna get your wok, turn your your burner on so that starts getting hot. I got it about about medium high for right now. And then I mixed up um, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Old Bay, a teaspoon of ginger, salt and pepper, and a little dash of cayenne pepper in here. So I'm going to do what you need to do with your crabs. They, these have been cleaned and broken half. And you got to really dry them really good because it'll make a giant mess in, in this wok or whatever you fry them in. But I've got them dried pretty good and I actually put the paper towel in here and try to squeeze out some of the water. That's before you do anything. And I want to just take this, the spices. Just toss them into the crab. So. Be careful when you do this because they got little sharp little. Yeah, that don't look like a good idea. It's not a good idea, but I'm. You should careful. use some tools to do you that. You should use a, a, yeah. a fork or something. But if you're careful, nothing happens. At least, they, at least they can't pinch you now. They can't pinch you now, no, 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 no but they can you. stick you and, and, That's right. and your hands get real sore. That's all mixed up in there. You can see it's all combined in there. So the oil in here now, so that starts to get hot. Just a little bit in there. About probably, I don't know, maybe about a quarter cup of oil. So I'm going to use peppers and onions in here. I'm going to stick them in first. Turn the burner up on high so we can start getting these things cooking. Just mix up the oil. You want to get this oil really nice and hot. You can hear, hear them sizzling in here so the oil Nice and hot in there. You're gonna dump these crabs in. You can see it sizzling in here. And you take one at a time and you throw them in there. Onions and peppers smell good in there. Yeah, it does smell good already. I'm anxious to see what these crabs will taste like. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Something different. They're not big crabs, so they should no. cook this. So. What I might do is just drizzle a little more oil. Around. How long do you think they should cook them this way? Oh, this probably be a good 10 minutes. Yeah. If you have a lid. Well, you can tell. They get red, right? They're done. Oh, yeah. They get red. And you can see, you can see in here, the meat in here is, clear, is actually clear, like a clearish color. And he's full of meat, too. Yeah, he's full of yeah, meat. Look at it. Yeah, look at even. That's nice. So when that turns white in there, then you know they're done. If you had a lid, it probably would help speed this process a little but bit. But the lid's home, right? The lid's home. I took it we home. We didn't know we were going to do this. No, I took it home to use on the griddle. On the griddle, right. <laughs> I thought it was a nice little... When you were steaming scraps on the griddle. Yeah, and it worked out fine. I forgot about the wok in here. This will work, though. Yeah, look, it's starting to look pretty already. Look at it. 
It's actually getting really nice. Look at how red they're getting. Yeah, here's some. Yeah, tough. these are going to be good. Well, we didn't catch a lot of crabs, and we were trying to figure out something different to, to do with them. It's like just like an experiment. Yeah. They're going to be good. I can tell by just looking how everything's coming out. It's going to be really good. The peppers and the onions are going to give a lot of flavor in there. What I might do is I might take a cookie sheet and just put that over top for a temporary lid. You don't have a link. <laughs> you think that'll work? Yeah. You'll keep some of the heat in there. I give them about maybe three minutes like this with this cover. Chris got a little mud on her because she didn't change oh, when I we just got it. back from pulling the traps. Yeah, I'm kind of always, I'm always dirty. <laughs> Clothes always stained up with something, grease or something. So I don't wear aprons. Okay, make sure you have a pot holder. Don't forget and take your little makeshift lift. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, they're starting to cook. You can see the meat starting to turn white. Mm -hmm. So you definitely need a cover. That helps out. Look how red they're. I mean, it's like the green and stuff really looks pretty. <laughs> Flip them over. It does smell good. Yeah, I mean, it really, I can't believe how red the, the colors really come out on them. But you can see they're not fully all red yet. They still got the brown on them. So we're gonna put this back on and we'll go five minutes this time. And five minutes is up and this thing is hot. Now we're going to flip them over. Yeah, that meat's starting to look good in there. See? That, look at this guy. He's really full of meat. Mm -hmm. A little crab, he's got a yeah, lot of meat in there. Yeah, that makes up for being yeah. small crab. He's a full of meat. How about them ones we free back of the full of meat? Yeah. They're all yellow. Rusty, or what do you want to call it? I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. It's about medium high. Oh, that looks so, I mean, that really looks good. Now, this guy needs, he needs cooking more. He's still like an, what do we call it, opaque, I guess? Yeah. Or translucent. What is it? No, translucent. Well, that's an onion there. Translucent. No, his meat's still not quite wet. Yeah. This guy here. Yeah. We were going to give him another five minutes anyway if he's cooking in. What? Yeah. That's why I said turn the heat. You want to turn your heat down to like medium high so the vegetables don't burn. The fade are absolutely wonderful. The lid back on. Yeah, put that fancy lid on. That's a nice lid. So five minutes are up. Put the lid back off. Mm, they look good. Yep. Yeah, they look real good. They, they look real good. They smell good too, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just throw some water in here. About a quarter, maybe a quarter to a half a cup of water in there. Mix it up, get all that nice juices in the crab. And turn your burner back up on high. This way it's a more, on the bottom you can see the wok so it doesn't burn and plus you'll have a little bit of juice to drizzle over the crab, which I think will make it taste really good. One more time with the lid. This will go about three minutes. Three minutes are up. Are oh, they pretty? They're gorgeous. Look at them things. They're really pretty. Let's stir them up a little bit. Look at that nice 
So I fused them in. They look like they're going to be really good. So I did is line the foil, the pan with foil, and put some paper towels on it to drain off the excess, please. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. They really look, different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Looks like some restaurant food. Something, yeah, high <laughs> price crowd, huh? Yeah. yeah, they came out really nice. So we gotta let them cool before we can even sample them. They're too hot. Well, Joyce cooked this steak on a electric griddle, and they look good anyway. I hope they're nice and tender. Well, these crabs really look good, Joyce. I think this was a good idea. It looks you know? like it's been a great idea. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have a steak with the crabs because there's not a lot of crab, really a lot of crabs here, but there actually is more meat than what we thought. Uh, They're packed yeah. with meat. And we got, uh, what the heck's that? Crab gravy? Crab gravy, the, whatever it is. Steak. Whatever <laughs> it is. I'm going to cook up a crab. crab and onion and yeah. pepper gravy. Crab juice. You're always doing something. Fix that back fin for you because the claws are a little small. You always like to eat claws, so you That's want to try right, that. that. Maybe dip that and look oh, at you that. want to tip it in that crab gravy. Right. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. That was good. That good? That's real good. The crab gravy's mm -hmm. good? That's real good. That's something new. Mm hmm. Well, that's, that's so really good. So, how's that meat, though? Everything's good. Everything's good. Wow, I'm doing that again. Yeah, it will have that again. We can do that at home. Right. Take the walk home. Yep. With with the lid. With the, <laughs> with the lid. <laughs> and we got some fresh corn to go with it. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.